Jesus says, This war is not my will. But what shall I do when they are so ignorant? February 18, 2022 Words from Jesus and Mary through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, Lord God, we live in such evil days that we pray against all enemy activities that are being done in secret, all dark plans of war to harm the innocent. Protect us, Lord, and keep us safe as we trust in you for all things. Amen. Jesus began, Beloved, it is far more complicated than you could ever conceive of. Convoluted mixed bloodlines and genetic refinements, even using those things that are unclean to increase their power and relationship with the demonic kingdom. Oh, Jesus, how terrible! Do you trust me? Yes, Lord, even in the immensity of their nefarious scheming. Claire, every place they've been, I was there first. Every move they made to promote centuries of evil moving forward has no ability to overcome me. All of these things I've known in advance and have the perfect plan for their demise. Nothing. And I do mean nothing is a surprise to me. Nothing can overcome me. Nothing has slipped by me or my father. I want you to make it clear that just as they have built pockets of power and evil, so have I already made provision for their failure and complete demise. The architects of evil from ages past have nothing over us. They will be brought to complete justice in their time. Your prayers for their complete eradication are powerful and very relevant in this hour. So yes, pray against this evil, this nefarious movement that is being taken apart piece by piece. Have great faith in your president that he has been acting for the good of this nation and not with the dark ones. Many lies and much misinformation has been spread about the man and his family. Never did I say that he was perfect, but he came the closest to having the attributes to bring it to pass. Keep praying for righteousness to triumph. Do not stop praying, as many have to be willing to come forward of their own free will, even risking their lives to confess the truth, because many have died bearing witness to the truth. Pray for them and your president. Your prayers, dear ones, are so needed in this hour. Then Mother Mary began speaking. Thank you for being here, Claire, and for caring. I will help you. You are on the precipice of war and things are very tense around the world. War is never pretty, so many sins are committed. What is most important to us are the souls yet unsaved. It is true that many will be more responsive when death is knocking at the door. Europe has become a cesspool of unbelief and pagan practices. This is part of the reason this is happening. They have turned away from God to live strictly for the flesh. How painful this is for my son to behold. How he has pleaded, knocked at their doors, reasoned with them, extended his tender love to them, but to very little avail. For their hearts are frozen over and ice cold. Yet we never give up. So don't stop praying, even though you know how secular it has become. There are still some people in tiny pockets that hold to their faith and traditions. They are the ones that are holding back what is inevitable with their prayers and offerings. Then Jesus began again. This war is not my will, 
But what do you do when you give a nation all that it needs to be healthy and prosperous and they still ignore you, continue on in sin without a flicker of their conscience and fail to give thanks or even consider that God has done this for them? This is a last resort to reach those who may still have a heart somewhat alive and get them to turn back to me. Pray for them, Claire. My heart aches for what these nations, once upon a time so devout and close to me, but now so callous, indifferent and dismissive, have become. Believe me, I will be listening with eager anticipation for those who cry out to me. Regardless of their sinful past, they are my children and I love them. I see what influence Satan has managed to distort their faith with. I understand their weaknesses and errors and long to bring them home into my house. I look only for a flicker from their hearts, a flicker of remorse, a flicker of repentance, a flicker of one who is thoroughly lost and seeking salvation. I rush to embrace such as these and to reassure them of my love. When they realize how very much they are loved, the fight to resist just melts away. This is what you must pray for, that they recognize the spark of life I am setting within their hearts. These I will take to myself and bring the truth, steeped in my loving care for them. Pray they will cry out for me. What is going on in the European continent will eventually spill over onto America. War is so demoralizing to the people and everyone on the whole planet will be deeply affected by their loss. What are my instructions for you in this hour? Count your blessings, be ever so grateful and pray for those whose lives are being ripped away from them so violently and senselessly. Pray much for these, for it is so demoralizing to see everything you've worked so hard to acquire, a peaceful lifestyle, the fruit of a life of labor, go up in flames and then be taken to a prison camp where your destiny is so uncertain. O oh dear God, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 